on this edition, which I know is going up late, but on this edition, can you hear my dog? Um, on this edition of Stepmom Talk, it's like we're continuing with the balancing act. And one of the things that I think I briefly talked about in the last episode was, um, like, how do you balance um, your time with your kids, like alone time and time with, um, like, how do you just balance it all? And one of the things, too, for me is, like, how do I balance um, time with the kids and, like, nieces and nephews and stuff. And I have found that, like, since we moved in and stuff, that that has really been a struggle of mine to balance time with the kids, time with family, and also time with, you know, the nieces and nephews. And so this summer has, it's been, like, a huge priority of mine to learn to balance it all better than what I have been doing because I feel like, you know, those... Do I feel like those relationships are, like, suffering so bad that they're they're not fixable? No. But I think that they have suffered, and it it is changing things. So, like, I make this video to say, like, hey, guys, I'm not perfect, and we all have to work on something, and that's something that I feel like in my heart, like, I've... I wouldn't say... I didn't do it on purpose, but I've allowed um, time to go and some of those relationships not be as strong as they once were. Um, and some of that is just, you know, it's the way it is when you're taking care of your own family and you're concerned and everything, you kind of do step back a little bit and you're not as, um, engaged with them as much as you maybe once were and life gets busy and all that. So definitely it makes sense. But, um, I have been working more on that with this summer, like, okay, the kids, um, I need to, you know, continue building those strong connections and stuff. And, you know, that's a huge part of my life. They are, like all the kids, they, I love it. I love spending time with them. I love just being with them. And kids for me are more of a joy than probably any adult in my life. I love, I love the adults in my life, but kids definitely have my heart. And so, it's ten times more fun being with a group of kids doing something than it is to do a group of would be with a group of adults. But I've always been like that, and anybody in my family could tell you that. Um, and so I feel like just you know making sure to keep those relationships strong and stuff because I know what I always wanted, and I the last thing I want is to start building that and then slowly kind of letting that go. And I'm like I can't do that. Like they're my life. They're um, they mean the world to me. And so that's something that's like, am I the one to tell you and give you advice? No, definitely not. But um, something that I'm going to be working on here now, especially more than I have before, is try to um, have one-on-one -on -one time with the kids and then more time that's like all the kids or just a few of the kids. And one of my things is, um, was, well, I had made this, like deal with the the boys and I was like okay if you you know I said okay what is ask their moms what is something they need to work on and if they did that then they would get to go to the movies with me and one of them did it and one of them didn't do it so one of them gets to go to the movies and one doesn't um but again it was something that they you know had to work on and the girls were going to be doing something with them um you know something that they can work on and then if they succeed with doing that then they will be able to go with me too. One, it's spending time one-on-one. -on -one. Two, it's something fun for the girls to do that is also fun for, for me. And um, we can just enjoy being girls. And so it's something that I really, 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 really love. And it's just, it's such a treat in my life to have that one-on-one -on -one time with them, spend that one-on-one -on -one time with them, and just treasure each and every moment as it is. Um and my kids mean the world to me. And so that's something I definitely, you know, I'm encouraged by and I love. And so I'm so excited um, and I want to, to, to do that more and more, you know. And so I've come up with a couple ideas. Um, one of the things, because we're in like split homes, you know, where these kids are, or um, they've spent part of the summer with one, with one parent and then part of the summer with another parent, 
with one of my nieces, she's like in one home the whole time. And so I was like, oh, that's the perfect time for me and her to get to spend one on one time. And then when her siblings are at grandma's house for the weekend or whatever, it's like, ah, oh, that's perfect. Like we get to spend one on one time. So definitely a priority of mine to do little things um, as much as I can. So I'm trying to work on like at least once a month doing something either um, one on one with them or all together. And it could be something as simple as one hour in us going to the to go get a surprise at the dollar store or maybe going to get some ice cream or some cookies or something like that and then doing something fun with everybody which could be just going to the park so it's definitely something that we're working on doing with the kids um but it, it's a, it has to be a commitment you know from from me and that's something that's really big and so the balancing act there also with the kids you know it's like we do so much on the weekend, but I feel personally that I don't spend enough time one-on-one -on -one with them, and that's something that I need to work on. And so, again, the same with the nieces and nephews. There are a few things that um, I have planned that it's just going to be one-on-one, -on -one, like just Lydia and I or just Michael and I, and the same thing with their dad, like just you with one kid, just you with one. And then sometimes he will go do something just, the, you know, just with the kids. And then there would be times where I just go do something just with the kids. And so it gives us something to do, something fun to do, something enjoyable to do, something just, again, just us. Um, and something that we can really, really cherish. Um, and building those bonds and just reconnecting as a family and connecting as a family and just, you know, and so definitely is something that I was like, we are always doing something. And I love that about us because I love to keep the kids active and stuff. But sometimes I think, oh, I need to learn to balance my personal, my one-on-one -on -one time with the kids. And so um, that's something that is becoming a very big priority for me um, this summer is to focus on spending one-on-one -on -one time with each kid maybe it's like once a month or months every other month like you know we get together and we just spend time just me and one of them or just me and the girls or just me and the boys um vice versa just doing just little things and so that's something that is going to be a it's a huge priority to me and we're going to be got a couple plans <laughs> um up our sleeve for some fun activities that we're going to be doing that I'm so excited about that I also feel like the girls will be excited about because I have some plans um, for them. And so I think it's going to be great. And I think we're going to be able to just, you know, to have the best weekend, the best summer, the best everything, just spending together. And I feel like if we work this summer on making that such a big um, priority in our lives that here goes the rest of the year, it'll be 10, 10 times better. So that's my little say today. And I just kept rambling for a while, but that's basically what I'm working on is how to balance it all. Um, and I'm also going to start doing my best to keep like a running record as far as on a calendar. Um, to kind of do what I need to do and see what I can do to kind of keep that going and get better about it. So that is my focus. So hopefully I'll be able to do it and do it well. So I will see you guys later. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please link them down below. If you have any suggestions, I also need them. There is no handbook. And I always say that all the time. Like it, just in conversation, there is no handbook on this. Um... If there's not a parenting handbook or a step parenting handbook, there sure ain't no aunt parenting, uh, parenting book, aunt handbook. And so just, you know, it's life in general. So that's basically my rant. I need to get off of here and stop just talking. But if you have any suggestions, please link them down below and I will talk to you guys later.